Hey guys, another video for the Wheels in Japan playlist. We're just looking in our rear vision mirror here, have a look at this car coming up behind us, and just see if you get the impression that maybe it's an unmarked police car with a blue light at the front there. Have a look at that. See the blue lights in the front of the grille? But interestingly, it's not. It's just Joe Public out driving in the street. Here's another more extreme version. This sort of decoration style blue light's actually been popular in Japan for quite some time. The guys that go really crazy with this and lots of blue lights on the outside and lots of blue lights on the inside and lots of other decoration too, usually. But the blue lights have become sort of mainstream. Really, the last 12 months, it's really kicked off. And you get ones like this, where there's just one blue light at the front. Or maybe there's a small row of blue LEDs at the front. And we've asked lots of people about it, and some people have said it's for safety. Some people have said that if you have these blue lights on the car during the day and during the night, that it makes your car more visible for safety. Other people have just said they thought that it was just done because it was cool. So there seems to be two camps of thinking on this. Some people seem to think it's just for safety. Some people think it's just because it's cool. There's a truck with a couple of blue lights at the top. So I'd suggest that being the truck is probably there for, for the safety aspect, for the visibility from a distance. But there's another one, top of the truck. But it's interesting because there's a lot of places around the world where putting blue lights on your car is illegal. I know Australia, most of the states in Australia, it's illegal to have blue lights on your car like that. Because people could mistake it for being a police car, couldn't they? But in Japan, quite normal, and sometimes it's just a row of LEDs like that one. Uh, this is quite common, a little row of LEDs underneath the headlights. And sometimes it's actually customised where they've had it done. They've specifically had the lights added to the car. But there's actually some cars that are coming out of the showroom or off the showroom floor that already have the blue lights on, where they're built in, like this one, where they're actually built in underneath the headlights. So, interesting trend, isn't it? And it, it seems to be no limitation on it. The guys that go full on with it and cover the whole car in blue lights, that's all quite normal as well. This guy's got the blue lights inside the car. So yeah, having blue lights coming up behind you here is, is quite a normal thing now and not, not worthy of any note. Of course, the police cars have red lights. So all the emergency services vehicles have red lights. So that's why the blue doesn't matter. So anyway, thought you might find that a little bit interesting. More videos coming soon.